Hello everybody, and I think it's time that we finally get into the last character on Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game that needs to be reworked, and that is going to be Julie Crawford. So Julie is, in my opinion, the second most popular victim, or I'm sorry, second least popular victim to play as right behind Sunny. And honestly, I'm not too sure why. I mean, I guess her assets aren't enough for people to pick her, but uh, regardless. It's, again, a very curious thing is I personally think Julie's stats are amazing. I honestly think her stats are even better than, let's say, Connie's. Oh, the let's face the only thing that's really good about Connie is her ability. Besides that, Connie's kind of nothing, hence why her pick rate has been slowly declining ever since Danny was added to the game. But regardless, I still like to do a few tweaks to Julie that, in my opinion, would make her a bit more enticing. So we can see her thick queen in a lot more games, and hopefully she will not die immediately in the basement like many of them seem to when they do show up. But getting straight into it, I usually start off with characters' abilities when I do these reworks, so I will do the same with Julie. So her ability, Ultimate Escape, not only gives her at least a 50% reduced consumption rate for sprinting, but it also hides her from both Cook and Johnny's abilities. I think her ability on its own is fine. However, one tweak I would make to it would be to add Nancy to the list of characters that she can hide herself from when she's in her ability. So this would mean not only would she be invisible to Cook and Johnny during their track abilities, but also Nancy. This would be a bit complicated if she's the last victim standing but I think a simple solution to that would simply be that Nancy is locked out of her ability to track Julie during this time and there is this minor bug that happens with Nancy where um, she get kicked out of her ability early when she does try to track it they could sort of do something like that for uh, Nancy where if she tries to use her ability during um, Julie's ultimate escape it would immediately kick her right out of it it maybe give her a full cooldown or just like a slightly reduced cooldown, one or the other. Just something, again, that would uh, kind of make it more aware that, you know, Julie is in her ability and you can't track her. Now, I'm not sure if Gun is in any discussions of giving all the victims three level three abilities, but if they are, a few I'd suggest are something like, uh, let's say, Julie can get a f slight speed increase during her ability. Another one could make her footsteps completely silent during her ability. She could also have another where her stamina regained faster during her ability. And maybe one dot would hide her or reading for um, the duration of her ability, including Grandpa, but that might be a little strong. But then again, we do have Overlooked as a perk, which, by the way, is exclusive to Julie. So, hey, everything's uh, up in the air at this point. Now, besides that one little buff to her ability, one thing that definitely would need to change is some of Julie's stats. Again, I think Julie's stats are amazing, but with me doing a few changes to Sunny's stats, they do affect Julie. And honestly, there are a few things that will explain what I'm going through her stats that I believe also would help benefit Julie for her to also have her, um, again, her stats reworked. So her toughness at 25 is fine. It's not going to really save her in many instances. Maybe it prevents her from being one shot from Leatherface's overhead when he has something like Hysterical Strength or something on. But um, it's also a good base as if you want to make Julie a full-on tank at 25 uh, default toughness, it's very easy for you to do just that, especially if you add on uh, tougher stuff. I'm going to go ahead and say it now. There's no point in beating around a bush here. She will get a slight boost in endurance to 35 from 30. This is because Sunny has been dethroned as the king of endurance. Instead, Julie would now be the queen of endurance. And with this extra boost, not only would this help with her ultimate escape, but also it just give her an all-around better time at fleeing from victims in chase, which I think suits her and um, all her other stats and etc. Next is her shrimp. Now, this is going to be a bit of a interesting take on Julie that I'm sure a lot of you didn't see but I'm going to be buffing her strength to 25 from 15 and that is due to the fact that if you were to look at a lot of the perks Julie gets in her skill tree she gets a lot of perks that encourage her to fight back such as fight and flight which not only gives her a temporary speed boost upon winning a close encounter but also recovers some uh, stamina as well she also gets fight back although I believe everybody gets fight back I could be wrong
Same with efficient backstab. Everybody gets that, but what they do not get is choose fight, fish hooks, and just again, like a few other perks that could go on and on about that encourage her to fight back against the family. So with her getting 25 shrimp as a base, it again gives you a bit of an advantage in close encounters and additional longer stun, but also it gives her a good base for you to, again, upgrade her shrimp, maybe give her a bit more toughness so you've stayed a better chance in close encounters, and etc. And just again, it gives you a bit more variety in her play style, especially with her already being one of the more athletic victims. I just feel like a lot of these stats make sense for her, as opposed to her weaker shrimp, which again, does not make sense for how athletic she's supposed to be. So her proficiency is going to stay at 20. There's no reason for that to be upgraded at all. And honestly, one thing a lot of people kind of overlook with Julia, I find, is that at 35 stealth, which was her originally um, what stealth she has, but again, I'm going to be changing that in just a second. It gives her a good base for upgrading her proficiency and again, making her very great at picking locks and etc., which again is something that I feel like a lot of people slept on. And that's something I immediately jumped on even before the game was released that with the right uh, perks and attributes put into her, she could be very formidable when it comes to quickly getting her friends up. But last but not least, we are getting to our stealth, which is going to take a major dip down to 20. This is due to the fact that from my experience, a lot of Julies don't really seem to value stealth at all. Even though at 35, if you pause in between wiggling off your strengths, you can get off the uh, ropes pretty easy and quietly at that. And, and then even with gathering items, just a few pauses here and there, and you will still get them pretty fast, even with just default 20 proficiency. So I'm sure there's going to be a few Julie mains out there that would be bummed out about her stealth taking a 15-point hit. But again, for all the other stats that she's getting above one, I don't think they'll miss it too much, and with just a hurt sneaky Pete on and a few extra attributes, you can get up to a high enough to where you don't have to worry about making noise, well, ever. <laughs> so those are going to be the changes I'd make to Julie. Nothing too extensive. I wouldn't even really classify this one as much of a rework. It's more of just a, a rebalance, if anything, as nothing amazing is really being changed about her. She's fundamentally going to stay the same. It's just, again, she's getting a few tweaks here and there. She has the base amount of perks that most victims get, aside from Danny, who again gets one more perk than others, and I just simply give her I can make it as a perk to balance out with Danny, which ironically is one of Danny's perks, with, of course, just like I said with Sunny, the buff of having the 10 and 15 extra attribute points you get from being at 5% uh, health buff to 10 and 15% uh, health instead. So again, that perk's a lot more usable than it currently is. Oh, can we please fix the issues with Julie's proximity radius? I have no idea why, but she seems to pick up the family from a much further range than anyone else, leading to awkward moments such as this. Someone's in there, be careful. Anna, thank goodness. Uh, but with that being said, that's going to be it for this video. This is a much shorter one compared to the others because, again, I don't think Julie needed too many uh, balancing twinks and et cetera to boost her up a bit more with the others. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about my ideas or what your ideas are. And if you like what you've seen here, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And stay tuned for my next video.